What a wonderful presentation of the graduates of 2020. So nice to see so many happy smiling faces, uh, joy in parents' eyes, wonderful words from teachers and wonderful words from students as well. But it now gives me great pleasure to formally announce both the Salutatorian and the Valedictorian for this year. The Salutatorian for this year Dear Grade 12 students, parents, Ms Shenston, Mr Rowland, Mr McCloskey, friends and colleagues, it's a great honour to be asked to address the class of 2020. I don't think I could have had a better group of people to be influenced by. That is why saying goodbye to this class is one of the hardest goodbyes I've ever had to say. We now move into yet again another unusual section of this ISB 2020 graduation service. And that's the presentation of academic awards. So I do have a few bits of advice for you all as you spread your wings and embark on this new, exciting, scary chapter of your lives. I'm not really sure when you decided that you had it out for me because even before I taught you when you were in grade 10, you really, really badly wanted to shave my head and then you did it again the next year and this is what we've gotten to at this point. So uh, thank you for making those changes in my life. No one ever attempted the road that you took. You could have rode off into the sunset like this. I really love the calmness and the tranquility you brought to the class. I mean, just your general personality, your demeanor it was fantastic. I thank you for that. This is going to be all nice, so just be prepared for that. Um, your hard work has paid off. I see you in the DP room and always surrounded by, by people who like and admire. One of the traditions that we established in this school about 10 or 12 years ago was the moving of the tassels on your hats. You are a remarkable group of young adults and I'm confident that you will go on to do some remarkable things. The time has come for you to leave us and I'm sure that as you go into the world you will be successful. I also hope that your success is defined and measured by you and not by anyone else. As I said to you, it was going to be different, and it was. But the tradition still continues. I hope that students will look back on that with fond memories saying that we still did it, but it was different. But now, it's an opportunity for me just to say a few words to conclude this graduating service for 2020.